So this is... Is it recording? It's recording. Okay. So this is the Turner Motorsport eh, carbon fiber duckbill. Spoiler for the end two. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Oh god. Oh jeez. All right. Um, I need something like alcohol-based to clean the Malibu. I mean, we have that. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> So we are in the garage. Um, we are going to start working on the car over at the uh, at Justin's shop, um, but some stuff came up, and he doesn't have the room for us to be able to do it over there. So we're going to be doing it here. Um, this face is a little cramped, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to be starting off doing the rear springs. And I need to look up and see if I can even do the sway bar because it looks like the whole subframe might have to get dropped to do it, which don't really have the, uh, well, we'll see. If, if it's easy to drop, I'm going to drop it and do it. But if not, then I'll save it for another time. Um, so, but other than that, uh, starting off in the rear, going to go ahead and uh, do the springs, put the spacers on. And while it's jacked up like this, uh, I'll probably, I'm gonna try getting to the front jack position, the center point. Uh, and if I'm able to do that, I'll jack the rest of the car up in the front, get it hovering off the ground, and uh, go ahead and undo the, uh, undo the exhaust and drop that boy down so we can get the mid pipe done. Uh, and then from there, I'll be lifting up the front of the car and getting the uh, uh, the front springs on, put the spacers for the stocks on, and, uh, and then lastly with the front lifted up, we'll be going underneath the front of the car, um, removing the fan shroud, I think we're going to be removing the fans, and, uh, and go ahead and get that uh, crank cradle put on right. Uh, that's like the only precautionary safety thing that we're really doing in this car. Um, and it's the only like safety measure that we really have to for the power that we're going for. So uh, you gotta put the spoiler on. It looks like perfect. Um, if you followed me on Instagram and followed me for a while, back to like the dark ages of Boosted Mikey, then um, You'll see that like my F80 that I have owned previously, I had like a super similar uh, spoiler, and it's just like it's just the best thing. People like the little baby M performance package ones and stuff. Uh, they fit weird. They don't go all the way to the end of the trunk like the deck lid, which I think they should. And they're just too small. They're not aggressive enough. This one's smooth, but like tall as hell and way more aggressive. So I love it. Um, yeah, so suspension, spacers, maybe sway bars, crank cradle, and mid pipe is what is going to be going down to today, tonight, probably tomorrow. We're going we're gonna to be sweating out here for a minute. It's also very hot. I don't know if you can see the stains. Yeah, you can definitely see the stains. It shit's bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go get a drink and then get back to this.
We drive across the country on tires with wire showing. Pretty sick. Probably doesn't hook either. It'll be okay. Yeah. We got the spring on. Um, this is the first time I've had to actually really deal with camber bolts. Um, so that was annoying. Uh, but it's on. Uh, it's gonna get a like a track alignment done and quarter balance anyways, so I'm not gonna really worry about that so much. And it needs new tires as well anyways, so again, not worried. Um, now we are on to the stud conversion kit and then we will slap on a spacer and put the wheel back on and we'll be done with this corner get to the other side and then get to the the front i've decided we're not going to do the sway bars or the mid pipe until i get my quick jack in uh which that'll help getting car a lot higher off of the ground give a lot more clearance underneath to do whatever we need to get done um so today is just going to be springs and spacers and stud conversion kit. Um, I'm also not super worried about the cradle because I'm not going to be going stage two yet. And uh, so yeah, so not worried about any of that stuff and just doing everything on the ground uh, is a lot more difficult than it used to be for me. Uh, I got um, I got spoiled with having lifts. So yeah, just gonna crack these out. We're gonna put a dab, like a dot of red Loctite on. Um, red or blue, some people say to use blue, it's less permanent, but honestly like these, you're not going to get rid of these ever. Uh, and Unless red, you break them. <laughs> huh? Unless you break them. Well, yeah, but um, red, a dot, a dab of it will help just prevent it uh, Prevent, prevent them from like backing out if you ever take it to a shop and they don't realize that it's a stud conversion or something because they're stupid or something, I don't know. But yeah, so we're gonna do a dab of that, stick them in, torque them down to 28 foot-pounds of torque, and then spacer and wheels. Face. <laughs> Never mind, I won't say it's like battle scars. Yeah. <laughs> Going to war with this car, guys. Um nah. Okay, so rear is done. Uh just spring stud spacers. Now it's time for the front to get the front struts off of these stupid cars. Because on my F on my M3 I had BC coilovers, so I had to remove the entire strut. This is this will be a little bit easier because you don't have to actually remove the strut, uh, which you'll see later. Everyone takes the strut completely off. I don't think you have to, and sometimes the how these are is like a sliding collar clamp uh, for the lower part of the strut to the hub. Like I, I hate that style of uh, like connecting. So um, luckily on M cars, the, uh, the, like the stock springs and struts are low enough, short enough that once we jack this up, take the wheel off and undo all these bolts uh, to the um, top hat, you're able to just swing it below and it can come like past the fender and out and then we'll do all the work from there. But to get to that point, you have to remove these shrouds, remove these rubber shrouds, remove these guys, 
take this boy off and that might be it. Uh, actually, let me. Okay, we, that should be it, hopefully. Um, I'm pretty sure that we also get to remove uh, the actual, like, this thing. I forget what it's called. It's like, usually they call it like a K, hit K something, K like brace something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Strap brace. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to remove that as well. Which is fun because it, like, over on that side, it passes where the battery terminal is for power to the front. So, like, if you if you tap that, then like sparks fly and everything. It's it's fun. You know from experience. So, yeah, get to do all of this now. Great, and then I'll let the car up and do everything else from under there. But for now, I can just do everything from here. Ugh. So we just got finished um, doing a little bit of maintenance on the girl uh, since I don't know exactly when the last time she got an oil change was and we just drove it like 2,600 miles from California to Florida, went ahead and had an oil change and uh, in preparation for uh, E85 tune, I went ahead and changed out the spark plugs and went a step colder laser iridium NGK plugs for the car. Um, I decided that I'm going to hold off on all the cooling stuff, the intercooler and the charge pipes, until I get a heat exchanger in as well. Um, once I get that in, then we'll be, it'll be a long ass day of intercooler, charge pipes, heat exchanger, and intake, which is going to be fun because I have to do some cutting and fabricating for the intake to fit on this car since the one I got is meant for an M3 and M4 but I'm gonna make it happen on the M2. Um, got all that finished. Uh, oil level is like perfect. Like exactly seven liters is like exactly maximum for the oil level so that's cool. It's pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, we just got our planted technologies uh, seat brackets in. So I'm going to go ahead and put the driver side one in and throw that pull position in. Uh, make my butt and back hurt less whenever I'm driving this thing and also make it more snug and fun to drive. Uh, once that is done, we will show you some other cool boxes that came in today and what is inside of them. And it's probably the most exciting thing for the on this car so yeah i'm gonna set my butt off inside of the car and uh get a recaro in <laughs> 